Mercedes Benz, they are currently testing. In fact, several cars, several Mercedes Benz vehicles have been spotted testing on a number of occasions with a new solid state battery providing over 600 miles of range. So we're talking a thousand kilometers of range here. Are these batteries coming soon? Well, Mercedes Benz have provided an actual date on when they will be selling these vehicles with solid state batteries in them. It's not as close as you'd expect considering all the testing that's happening, but um, at least it's being realistic. At least Mercedes Benz are actually telling the truth. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Mercedes Benz have launched new EVs with solid state batteries. Well, they will, at least, in the future. Not quite yet. Earlier this year, Mercedes actually put the first car powered by a lithium metal solid state battery on the road. That's a direct quote from Mercedes Benz for testing. And Mercedes has been testing prototypes in the UK and Europe since February. The company uses a modified EQS vehicle. Basically, it's an EQS EV with a different battery and some other parts as well, because you can't just swap the battery. You gotta swap a few other things. The battery pack, who actually developed it? Well, apparently Mercedes-Benz say it was developed in-house by Mercedes-Benz and its Formula One supplier unit, Mercedes AMG High Performance Powertrains or HPP. Now, Mercedes-Benz, what they often do they team up with other companies and they often buy them. Very smart. Sort of like what Tesla have done as well. But yeah, Mercedes-Benz, they go out and they'll identify companies, startups sometimes that have technology they want and they'll, yeah, they'll often buy them. In this case, Mercedes-Benz is teaming up with US-based Factorial Energy to bring the new battery tech to market. In September, Factorial and Mercedes revealed their all solid state solstice battery, which I think is a different battery. The new batteries though promise a 25% range improvement and will power the German automakers next generation electric cars. So the question is, when are these next generation EVs actually coming? Not soon, unfortunately. According to Marcus Schaefer, the automakers head of development, the first Mercedes EVs powers, powered by solid state batteries will arrive in 2030. So they're four and a half years away, which seems like a long time, but if I'm honest, four and a half years does seem to go pretty quickly these days. Must be getting old, must be getting, must be, um, I don't know what's happening. During an event in Copenhagen, Schaefer told German Auto News outlet Automobile Wash, and I know I didn't pronounce it correctly, but anyway, we expect to bring the technology into serious production before the end of the decade. So maybe that's 2029, could be. In addition to providing a longer driving range, Mercedes says the new batteries can significantly reduce costs, which is interesting. I haven't heard that before. Schaefer said current batteries won't suffice, adding, at the core, a new chemistry is needed in order for the entire industry to be electric, in order for all cars to be EVs. Mercedes and Factorial are using a sulfide-based solid electrolyte said to be safer and more efficient than their current lithium metal solid state batteries. Now, in terms of the range Mercedes are promising, this is a big, there's a big asterisk here. Mercedes says the new battery can extend driving range by around 25% with the Mercedes EQS already getting a claimed 450 plus uh, miles of range. Apparently, the official WLTP number is 511 miles of range. So that would mean they'd be getting probably around 630 miles of range. Yeah, that's over a thousand kilometers. But here's the thing, real world, apparently the new CLA EV from Mercedes, which is meant to be really, really efficient in the real world, it's not getting anywhere near the range claims. In fact, uh, in the real world, it's range is 20% below claims. So that's a bit unfortunate because some cars are not. Some EVs, to be honest, my car, I'm getting pretty close to the claim range on a daily basis. Now, if you're driving on the freeway every day, that's of course not the case, but for average driving, I'm getting close to it. So it's, I'm surprised to see that. That means this new battery, if it's gonna get 600 miles of range, according to Mercedes claims, maybe in the real world it'll get 500. It's still pretty good. Anyway, Factorial is collaborating with other leading OEMs, including Hyundai or Hyundai or Hyundai, however you pronounce it, and Stellantis, to introduce solid state EV batteries to the market by 2030. Other companies like Volkswagen, 
Nissan, BMW, Honda, um, and in fact, Chinese ones like Cherry, and BYD, and also CATL, they say they're also working on solid state batteries. And there's some that I haven't mentioned as well. So who's going to be first? It's going to be very interesting to see. Earlier this week, MG said the new MG4 will use a will be the first mass-produced car using semi-solid state batteries. But to be honest, those batteries are they're, they're nothing to write home about. They're no different to current battery chemistry in terms of their energy density that makes zero difference. So I wouldn't pay any attention to that car. That's just the marketing terminology. I think um, that's very clear. But solid state batteries, it looks to me, we're looking at getting some, some brands are saying in China, they're going to actually start using them in 2026. I think those, if that does happen, and it actually looks like it will, I, I'd be not personally wanting to take the risk of being an early adopter. I, I'm not sure how that would go long-term. I'm excited to see this. And I do think by around 2028, we'll get a lot of manufacturers starting to use them. I don't think Nissan and Toyota, who say that they've been working on solid state batteries since like 2012 or something like that, they're saying that they'll be in their EVs. They originally said, well, at least Toyota said 20, 2018, they said. Then they said all their EVs in 2021 would be powered by solid state batteries. And they keep making different promises. I don't think Toyota and Nissan are actually going to ever have solid state batteries, or at least not in the next five, six years anyway. I think those claims are bogus. But when it comes to other companies working on them, like these US companies like Factorial and some of these Chinese companies like BYD and CATL, I think that they're real and they will actually come by the end of this decade. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye. This is a pretty weird story, guys. I mean, if this is in fact true, then Mercedes-Benz, they've had a they had a horror year last year. This year is only going to get worse. I mean, honestly, I thought this new Mercedes electric car. I I saw the numbers, I saw the details. I thought this thing actually looks it actually looks really good. And now I'm reading what's happened and it's going to be an absolute nightmare. I mean, I don't think you'd buy this car if you had any brains in your head. I mean, really, what on earth was Mercedes-Benz actually thinking? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is going to be a bit of a disaster. The new Mercedes-Benz CLA, it first of all, doesn't look good. To be honest, that probably doesn't matter to a lot of people. But to me, it's not the big problem with this car, but yeah, it doesn't look good. Um, its interior is filled with screens. The interior doesn't look great either. Anyway, um, it's, you know, it's a new EV and it does look like it's got a fair bit of range, which is a positive. So that's what I was thinking, guys. I'm seeing the range. I'm thinking, okay, 800 volt architecture. This thing's going to be able to charge really quickly, 320 kilowatt DC fast charging. But a new report from Ward's Auto says it can't use uh, 400 volt chargers. 